I was always searching for the highest quality cannabis. Well, it turned out, if you want something done right, you're just gonna have to do it yourself. Welcome back to Vader Vision. Jumping right into it. Taking a look at the garden. This is actually right before I left. Just didn't have time to upload this footage before we went to the cup. But checking on everything. Looking mighty fine. Clones doing well. Alien Rift looking like they're ready for their transplant and to be set into flowering. Over here on the end tray. The rest of the flowering room looking fantastic. These girls are going to flush while we're gone at the cup and all of the Malibu looking wonderful. These OGs, they have reached on up. Most of these are all Vader, a couple of Jedi on the side. But this Malibu tray looking fantastic. And there is one key lime pie right in the corner. They are coming along nicely. So we are giving them a dash of their PK to give them a little booster. Start filling out the colas just a little bit more. Everything is looking nice and green. No nutrient issues. Veg time and spacing seems to work out just right. These OGs are also doing really well. All of the new growth is looking perfect. The Jawa pie, some nice chunky nugs, just like the Malibu, little topping, little training. These girls would fill out the canopy real nice. Alien Rift, falling all over itself. All of these Jawa Kush, which was the Ghost Cross. Here's some nice big chunky nugs. Looks like they're, you know, a week behind in the Jawa Pie, even though they're put at the same time. Now, we're going to set the Alien Rift tray in. First thing I did is grab some boost. I ran out of boost, so I needed to grab a liter of that. Also grabbed a couple pumps for some trays that I'm going to need and the Alien Rift tray. Plus a few more number two pots. Set some moms in, give them a little bit more space for their root zone. For the pump that is being replaced into the Alien tray and flowering, I didn't go with anything too powerful. We just need to be able to get the water up and cycled back down into the reservoir. Grab some extra hose out of the hose bin and grab some scissors just to trim it up just right. A quick install and this tray is all ready to go. Grab some cocoa so we can transplant all the alien rift into some larger two gallon pots. And I don't always mention this, but I do like to break up the cocoa flock just to make sure I get all the chunks out. Also going to grab some cocoa matting just to cover the holes in the bottom so cocoa doesn't leak out into the tray everywhere. Place our Alien Earth girls into their preset holes. Give them a little lollipopping and trimming. This will be the last time I really wanna give them any heavy trimming before they go off into flower and flip hormonally into that flowering mode. Fill up the reservoir with our NPKs, also our enzymes and our root boosters. Top off the reservoir with 20 gallons of water and they are ready to go. They'll bounce back and look real nice in a few days and eventually we'll end up setting this trellis over them. But for right now, we're just gonna leave it off to the side until they grow up a little bit. I can bring the lights down now as using these up out of the way while I was working. But we can go ahead and fire these lights back up. Just gonna use the can of shirt. It was brand new, nice and clean. So just gonna wipe down the bulbs as a precautionary matter, just in case I got some hand oils on them. Once they're all clean, fire them back up. And we are full blast, moving. Looking really good in here though. Topped off all of the reservoirs in here. Make sure everything is good for the few days we're gone at the cup. Alien Rift, these are gonna get cut down when we get back. So they are in full flush mode. We will check in on this room a little later. Over here, these are ready to be cut down. So I definitely wanted to at least get them in some bins. So we're gonna cut these down off the stocks. Just hang it up 
and one at a time, put them into some buckets. Luckily, with a quick job, Bubble came up. He was coming to the cup with us, so help me trim these down and set these off for the weekend. Welcome back to VaynerVision. It is Sunday. I did not shoot anything on Saturday. We were pretty busy. And I thought, hey, Sunday will be a good day. It'll be a little bit lighter and we can do a video. Except now it's raining. There are lightning warnings. High times might cancel the event. So uh, we'll see how it, how it goes today. Oh boy. All right. Well, the day ended up being a pretty big bust. Most of the vendors didn't show up. There was a fair amount of people who did end up attending for the day. But the High Times was on and off about whether or not they were going to even open up the doors. Thank you! What a wonderful day. They ended up moving the vendors that were left inside the Citrus Center. Turned out this is also where the contest entries were. So we got to take a look at those. You could also buy the rotating case if you're interested in that. It has a reverse and a forward. It's nasty. In the end, the day was kind of a bust, so not much uh, to show for the cut for the weekend, but we will be returning next weekend, actually. We did end up getting uh, space for a booth since the weather messed everything up. So I will do a full video next weekend for you guys. Check out the whole cut. So after the pop-up sesh in the Citrus Cup, the guys and I headed back to the Death Star. Since they were in town, I put them to work. First thing I did was pull a few clones from the veg tray that weren't looking too happy. Prodigy and Chief volunteered to do some trimming. Had all that OG in the bins. They actually fired right through it. I was pretty, pretty impressed. They did a good job too, so thanks guys. All the moms lived, clones were looking good. These Alien Rift, big chunky nugs as we cut them through, just gently harvesting each plant at a time, trying to make sure it doesn't land in any cocoa or all the way down in the tray. So, slowly took care of that as we dug into the trellis. All these Jawa, they're looking good, starting to get a flush, and the Jawa Kush back there. I'm gonna wait an extra week before I start flushing them. These OGs, mostly Vader right here, they've all caught right up canopy-wise to this Malibu tray, which is looking fantastic. Coals are really starting to fill out. I'm really stoked about this tray. Alien Rift, after a few days, you can see they got some nice new green growth. They've bushed on out, filling out the canopy, so they'll stretch up just a little bit more and we'll be rocking and rolling. Looking really nice over here in this corner. These Jawa Kush, coming along fantastic. Big fist size monster colas. You top these, bush them out, maybe throw them outdoors. You need some some big, huge bad boys, for sure. All right, well, we're gonna get back to work on all of these. Got some yo-yos once I got the rest of the plants out, just to keep the trellis in place for now. Although, all of these are standing up on their own pretty well, so it wasn't really that much of an issue. Since we didn't top them, they ran straight up. They're still holding their stocks up pretty well. All right, well, we're gonna clean up all this cocoa and check in on Nerd as he finishes up taking off a few more of the larger fan leaves. Same thing, nothing too crazy. Don't need to do like a full wet trim job, but getting most of the fan leaves off, we'll let them dry for seven to 10 days in this tent. We also had two Malibu that we ran straight up with the Alien Rift. Just taking a look at their growth structure. Definitely noting out a little bit more, but some nice, nice nugs all the way down to the bottom. Definitely could have put a few more in the tray, but ultimately that's why we run them, test them, try and see how they grow all on their own. Ninja rolled up another fatty. Thank you so much. As we finish up the trimming and taking care of everything inside of the room. Torturing nerd with the camera some more, as I always do. It's always a blast to have my friends from out of town over, especially when I get to put them to work. So thanks guys, it was appreciated. And it'll be fun to hang out with Chief and Prodigy this weekend, although Nerd will not be back this weekend. So if you are coming to this weekend's cup, you're just going to have to deal with us.
All right, all our veg plants are looking good. This one's still recovering from that kind of cow magnesium issue. It's a ghost grenade. Most of the others are looking fine. The moms are having absolutely no problems. I also went ahead and Nerd helped me plant a couple of the moms into some larger number two pots, like this ghost. And I gave her a little stake to kind of lean on. She was being a little flimsy. Vader is looking really good in the back. All of these clones that we took they're looking fantastic. They made it through the weekend, no problem. All right, well, that's it for a weekend update. Huge shout out to everybody who came by the booth and showed some love. Also, if you want to help support Vader Vision, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll be back again really soon with some uploads this week. So until next time, I'm Vader, and I'll see you later.